Hello everyone, it's Steve at Barwell UK Airbrush Supplies. Uh, we've just had in the post this morning um, this Badger Patriot 105. The um, brief we have from the customer that he believes it needs a new needle bearing and a needle and quite possibly a couple of other parts but that's as much information as we have. Um, we'll take a look at the airbrush. Ah. Very few parts fitted to it and on first inspection not the uh, cleanest of airbrushes uh, as you may be able to see in the chamber here there is a great deal of um, paint in there which obviously is blocking the uh, chamber there there's paint all in the cup and quite a bit of paint around the airbrush other than that it looks pretty well okay uh, oh Oh, I think the customer is correct in it needing a new needle as that's looking a lot like a fishing hook. Uh, the actual tip oh, I will have a better look at this but there is paints blocking the tip up same with the head there's paint blocking the head and I think several of the holes for the air there's six holes around the edge here and I believe at least two of them are blocked and the spray regulator again quite a bit of paint I think this one we will clean up first and then uh, strip it all down have a good look at it and see where we're going with it from there We've now cleaned all the airbrush up and it's time to get it reassembled. We did discover, as the uh, customer pointed out, that the needle is definitely bent and also looking at the needle, it does have a kink in it down here so we will be replacing the needle with a new one and the part number for the new needle which is the 0.5 as is designated by the blue needle end the part number is 51-047 and the customer mentioned that it may need a new needle bearing which is this part here and the part number for the needle bearing is 50-046 and this is the actual needle bearing which is a new one as we've discovered there is no needle bearing in the airbrush so we will be replacing that lubricating all the parts up as we fit them and we believe then that the airbrush will be working and the first thing we will do is replace the needle bearing and 
we put this in from the front push it in until it stops and you can see now that it's gone past the cup and it will be sitting in the correct position which is just about here I will then ream it out to make sure we haven't done any damage and the hole is the correct size and just off camera I will blow through the airbrush just to remove any debris that the reaming has caused um, and as I say it will now fit all the parts the first thing that I normally do is check that the air valve is working and we'll connect the air line and just push the tip down just to check it is working I do have the pressure turned down a little we don't want everything being blown all over the floor so that seems okay so we'll go ahead and the lubrication we use is the Badger needle juice um, this is my own personal opinion this is one of the best products on the market and it really does help the threaded parts and it does make the airbrush action run a lot smoother as you've not got metal on metal and as everyone always points out I do go over the top with this but more in this case is better um, we will just nip the air valve up with our padded pliers not putting any effort into it don't need to um, I'll then lubricate all of the needle housing careful of the threads as all airbrushes have very fine threads on them so it's worth taking your time and making sure you don't cross them top but it doesn't do the airbrush any damn but in fact it does it more good than it does harm and especially on these parts as we all get paint down the front here and if the threads are covered in lubricant the paint isn't going to dry on there and stop the parts coming undone because the lubricant will stop it from getting into the threads and locking it up so 
So we're just checking that there is an action from the uh, air valve and that everything is sitting in position. Uh, we'll get the new needle. Carefully slide it in, just checking before the needle gets there that it is sitting correctly and I don't push the needle all the way to the end because the lubricant that's on the uh, needle housing here and that has been put into there will lubricate the needle up and we do want some lubricant going into the needle bearing itself that was just replaced and just to help this put a drop in the cup and just slide the needle back and forth a few times turning it as we do and then when we think things are okay then I'll just gently let the needle go forward and as we can see here the needle is sticking out way way too far it should only be sticking out that far but as I suspected when I looked at the uh, tip because the old needle had been bent and it does seem damaged further down I believe the needle has been pushed so far forward that it has splayed the top open of the tip so I will get a new tip and as you may see there it does look like the tip has been damaged and is splayed open but we'll get a new one and double check that this is the new tip and the tip is for the detailed uh, which is the 0.5 for this Patriot and the part number is 41-003 this is the new tip and hopefully you can see that there's a difference between the uh, two parts I'm going to try and get it to zoom in on that and you can see quite clearly the old on the hole on the old tip is much larger than the hole on the new tip which as we said has been splayed open by the uh, damaged needle so we will fit the new tip into the airbrush I'll just put a little bit of lubricant around the bits again our finger tight gently again we will slide the needle to the end and lock it into place and as we can probably see this time the needle is only just sticking out of the spray regulator which I know is the correct position for it and I just want to make sure that everything is nice and free before we go start testing the airbrush just uh, cleaning the excess 
lubricant from the airbrush in my fingers. Now we'll check all the action of the airbrush which seems to be working fine. We'll connect the airline Everything seems fine there. I'll put a bit of lubricant into it and that seems to be spraying nice. I'm going to turn the air pressure down a bit because we're going to be putting a drop of paint in just to test and see how things are. Just a couple of drops of um, blue paint. Yeah, this seems to be working fine. So the airbrush seems to be working fine, so what I'll do now is just clean the uh, blue paint out of the airbrush, uh, clean all the needle up and everything, clean the tips out by blowing some cleaner through it and checking it all over, give it a good wipe down, just lubricate the needle back up again and then uh, get it posted off to the customer. So the diagnosis on this one was that the needle bearing was missing, the bent needle was an issue and the tip had been damaged from what we believe was the damaged needle causing the tip to splay open and uh, all is fine now and the uh, needle bearing needed to be refitted. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. Please give it a thumbs up if you did find it of help. And also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content. It does help the channel grow and make it easier for others to find. Thank you for watching.